All right, so we're we're going through uh, Mishi's book, Back Checker Strategy, and we're getting to the end of chapter two, which is the uh, called the advanced stage. And to to briefly summarize, the uh, the initial stages is, is when uh, your back checkers are not split, and they're still on the the ace point, twenty four point, and the idea there was to play very aggressively, very loosely, loosely, I guess. Uh, and try to get uh, make points you want to hit whenever you can uh, and get to the advanced stage. Uh, the advanced stage is when you have an advanced anchor, the meaning the four or the five point. And uh, Misha will, will spend a whole chapter discussing the three point anchor, which he calls the butterfly anchor. And so when you're at the advanced stage, um, the argument is goes you're going to play much safer than at the initial stage uh and so uh michi has sections which we've gone over of of you know even if ugly he called it so even when it's an ugly play stacking on the, the four point or something like that uh you you're playing safely because you don't want to give up your lead uh well the lead that you have it and you don't well you don't want to uh, even if it's close you don't want to have a checker sent back it's much more disadvantageous Whereas if you're at the uh, initial stage, um, the third ch checker back can sometimes help you get the advanced anchor. Uh, but if you already have the advanced anchor, you don't want another checker back. So you're, that's the reason you're playing safe. So we'll carry on a little bit. Um, the last two <coughs> sections of this chapter cover some interesting points that um, uh, uh, probably deserve more attention and uh, Michi didn't give them a lot. So uh, I'll, I'll cover the last point he made, which is he probably have just one example, which is this one, um, in which uh, we have here two to one, two one to play. And so, uh, you know, the question is, you know, are you going to hit and point on the four point or are you going to hit the four point and then make the two point? And uh, so, what do you what do you think the uh, the right answer is for that one, Les? You want to give it a shot? I think uh, I think it's tremendously tough. You know, you know, it, you know, I, you got uh, the you know, Black has a pretty darn good board. Yeah, and uh, you know. Uh, you're way behind in the race, which makes you, you know, want to uh, maybe be hit. I, I, gosh, I, I think this is terribly tough. I don't have any idea, Gary. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me explain it to you. It's, it's the only example Michi gives. So I, it would be nice if he'd given him, give us a little more uh, breadth on this. But um, <clears throat> what he's going to argue is <clears throat> that when, uh, uh, when, the race is so so disparate when when basically when, in this case when we're so far behind the idea is to play pure and what he means by that is that you make points in the order that they have and and you don't you know so you basically you don't worry about this plot here so you're going to want to play you want to make the point and if you get hit you get hit but um uh, and, and, you, and you, but you have the anchor again. We're talking about the advanced stage here, so you have an anchor. Uh, it's going to take Black a while to get around. You're likely to get in, and uh, the race. Uh, you're already so far behind in the race that losing that extra, um, you know, 20, 20 pips or so isn't going to matter because you have to hit to win. You're not going to outrace Black from here more than likely. Um, so that's the idea. Now, I, you know, as let's point out, this is a really strong board. And, uh, you know, this is not much of a, of a difference. If you make the board a little less strong, um, then it's much more, you know, that, well, it's not much, but it's a little more favorable. If you make it a super strong board, a five point board, <clears throat> Uh, then the answer flips. Then you don't you don't want to get hit against a five point board, even though your your position, you know, e even though making the six five and four is much stronger than making the six five and two. 
Uh, so that's about all I can say about that. I, again, I would have liked to see more examples from uh, can, each. Can, the, can you go back to the original a, mi a minute, please? Yeah. Okay, so the, the, the odds of coming in, you have two shots to come in, right? Yeah. So 97, 97, 89, 75. So the odds are 59 percent. Is that right? That you, you might come in if you're hit? Yeah, well, two, yeah, two two different numbers. It's 20 out of uh, uh 36. So that's uh 10 18s, five nines, 55 percent, 56. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So whereas one one uh well one chance of a five point board is one in six to come in. So <clears throat> That would be that's ninety-seven. Oh it. no, that one. That's just the opposite. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that was that was that section. Uh, the this chapter he spends a lot more time on uh, something that that's uh, a kind of innovative for for Michi and and uh, I have not heard before before this book, and which sort of goes against kind of uh, standard bold safe criteria. And if you remember the bold safe criteria, which is what McGraw came up with, it's you're going to play boldly if in a number of circumstances, if you have the better board uh, or if you're behind in the race um, and if you have the anchor uh, uh, because all those make it less, less deadly to get hit and uh, more, particularly if you have the better board, more advantageous to uh, to get the you know to, to make a gamma and get far up in the game. here's a case and and michi calls this um f13 um and what he means by that is that in situations where you're trying to really contain your opponent's checkers uh you want to have you want to use 13 checkers to do that containment so you're going to have two checkers for the anchor but you want to bring the 13 checkers into play with containment so you know, here, kind of the initial theory would be the bold safe theory would be okay. We're way behind in the race. We're twenty three pips down. We want to stay back and get and and hit our opponent. Wait for the hit. So you'd play something like uh, down from the midpoint, uh, thirteen to five, maybe maybe you slot to four or something like that. Uh, Meiji's point is that okay, but you need you need to contain this back checker, so you need to bring you know 13 checkers to bear on that um and so the move that you, you you're going to want to make is you know to move the back checker all the way out here to the 16 point uh and this what this does is it gives you coverage more double coverage out here with direct shots if, because because black with a single checker he's racing single checker no points Anywhere he wants to get his back checker out to um, to, to complete his race, he's, and he's all he's got is a racing lead. So uh, he wants to bring that back checker out. You want to contain it. If we can, if we contain the back checker, even though we're behind in the race, uh, you know we can we can still win because if Black can't get out, he can't win, and eventually we'll close him out and that sort of thing. So the idea is to bring that extra checker in uh, around. Now, um, uh, and again, and this falls into the advanced stage uh, chapter because, well, he's got the, we got the advanced anchor, um, but it's really kind of a different topic. It's it's really more kind of a containment topic, and it doesn't go much much more into detail. And if you look at, I did some a few variations of this. And uh, in this case, uh, you know, the idea here is to contain. So in this case, um, you know, black has already advanced and it just has to hop over to get to, to pass over the prime and to get into the outfield where it's a bit safer. So in this case, we're not going to bring around another checker to contain. Uh, we're going to hit. Uh, and that pushes black back. Um, and here, you know, if we get hit, all right, that's not the end of the world because, first of all, black has no board. 
and then maybe we can get a double anchor and have uh, you know some sort of back game. Although again, the uh, the first rule of back games is don't play a back game unless you have to, because even when they work, because well they'll work sometimes and you you know you'll pick up the win, but a lot of times you'll get you'll give up a gammon. Uh, so uh, don't play them. Uh, don't try to play them. But here we've got to contain the back check, black checker. So, you know, we hit loose, put him back on the bar. Uh, you know, hopefully he doesn't hit us. Hopefully he'll come in with a one or two or something like that and give us more time and a, a better chance to uh, build a prime. Um, and again, I think uh, also, you know, the prime. So we're doing a priming strategy with, with containment. Uh, and, you know, priming is one of the strategies that you use when you're behind in the race because it's your that if you have a good prime, it's sort of to your advantage to uh, to be behind in the race because your your opponent will be forced to crack crack his board or something uh, if he can't hop out. Okay. Um, another example. Yeah. So here's the, here's a tough one, but <clears throat> the idea is the same. You know, we're in the advanced stage. And uh, we need to contain a checker. Um, and we're behind in the race. Um, so using the concept of, of you know, F13, what do we do here? Uh, and I, I'd say probably before reading this book, I would just have taken this checker up to the midpoint um, and said, you know, that's not too bad. Uh, that turns out to be wrong. Um, so what do you think is the, uh, the right play here? Twenty one, eighteen, thirteen, eleven. 13, 11. Yeah. And, and what, why that? Um, Well, you, you're leaving a checker on the 21 point, so you're, you're you're establishing a more advanced anchor on the 18 point and leaving a goalkeeper back on the 21 point. So, you, you know, you're trying to you're trying to maximize coverage, and the same thing with bringing a checker down from 13 11. You're 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 sorry, you're trying to maximize uh, contact. Yeah. So that I think that maximizes the most contact. Yeah. But, yeah, it does do that. It's, you've got. Uh you know, coverage out here, that's pretty good coverage in the outfield. Um, the only drawback, of course, is that you've given up your anchor. And so you're vulnerable to attack here. And black has a lot of ammunition to attack. He's got right. 13 checkers and, but he has the blot. So, um, all right. So that's actually not a bad play. It's not the right play. It's the, the second best play, mm, uh, wow. but it's still pretty good. Uh, the, the right play that gives you the most coverage is, uh, well, bringing this checker up. Now you've got coverage all the way in the outfield. You've got coverage. Let's look at the final. You've got coverage on the 11. And generally, as a rule, um, Michi doesn't cover this, but you know, with a single checker back, having this checker on the 11 point is a pretty good spot for it to be uh, because it gives you the most coverage if Black pops out, and Black is going to pop out any chance that he can, even even with a double, um, a double shot, just because that that's his strategy. Uh, when you're behind in the race, or when you're up in the race and you have a single checker back, about the only thing you can do is race. So he was going to hop out the, the moment he can. Um, so yeah, that's uh, um, oh, and, and you know another thing too about this. Uh, let's take a look. Actually, generally, if you, you know if you're going to leave a block, leave it in front of a strip point. Uh, black would like to have this point out as a possible landing spot, uh, and if black wants to hit you here, which he you know will with the right numbers with the three, usually most uh, well most threes, he's going to hit you. Um, but then he breaks his point. And he loses his landing point, so that's another idea. I'm just was just wondering if this, if this third uh, put his spare over here, how much of a difference that's going to make. And it doesn't, but the, but it is a lot closer. 
Yeah, look at this. This is this was uh, Jim's play initially, and now that now it's a dead heat for these, just because this extra checker is here, uh, and that's sort of the strength of you know placing the loose checker in front of a strip point. Here, the point's not stripped, mm -hmm. and uh, and you know black has one fewer checker in the zone, less you know less to attack uh, attack us with. So. Uh, Interesting idea, but again, the idea is bring 13 checkers, uh, Michi's idea is bring 13 checkers in play that can help contain the back checker. Uh, and that's the idea, even though you do something that's kind of, really kind of loose, uh, you know, this is this is the button up play. I'm sorry, no, this is the button up play uh, where you you don't risk getting hit and, you know, you still have, actually you, you have 13 checkers in the zone, but but, you know, here you've got, you know, extra attacking checkers or extra defending checkers. And, you know, this one has the most defending for, for keeping black from popping out. Okay. <clears throat> Next example. So we've got a five, three to play. Again, we're down in the race, not so much this time, but, um, and after, actually after the roll, we're not down in the race, um, but, uh, and, and Black has two checkers that we need to contain. So here's, you know, this is an interesting one. This is one that I would never have guessed, uh, right? But again, the idea is, you know, bring 13 checkers in the play and, so that would mean you know if you could bring this one around, you know that would do it. But but he's got the point blocking us here. So the actual play in this uh, is really strange to me. Uh, so you're taking you know coming out from the twenty down to the fifteen, and then you're breaking this point, um, which you know that seems really strange to me. Now you're giving two blots. For black to hit, and you're giving up your midpoint. Uh, nevertheless, the 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 power of having you know 13 checkers to contain uh, the final checkers uh, is enough uh, to to warrant that. Um, yeah, and I would you know I would have a hard time coming up with this over the board. Um, I have to admit, I would maybe do two down or something like that. Let's see where that is. uh that's that's a that's you know but that's a blunder even this one you know slotting the four point so yeah coming right up front to a double shot uh to right where you know right where black wants to be to hop over and yeah you know, even that's better than than two down very strange but again uh you got to contain here and so you're looking for 13 checkers to do it with you know, just out of curiosity, let's look at this one. Oops. Uh, I, I suspect it's the same. No, it's not the same. Wow. Yeah. A little bit different here. Well, it's 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 the same in that you're bringing this checker up, and now, but now now you care less about getting hit here, uh, and the three. Well, the threes are duplicated, so. Um, So that's probably why it puts it a little bit over this one. Still, very strange. You don't play safe here. Uh, I would say this is probably the safest play, but uh, it doesn't get you what you want. Part of it too, I think, is this. Here we've got three. This checker is under attack, and Black would really like to make this point. Um, and so if he points up here, uh, you know, that's that's very bad. So. Um, yeah. getting out of there to help. Okay. But it's, it's interesting that making the three point is so far down. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, where is it? Oh, here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this seems like a reasonable place. It's, yeah. We're giving up the eight point, uh, putting, leaving a blot on the eight point, but it's not a direct shot. 
In fact, there's only, you know, one six and double fours, only three shots that hit it. You know, I, you, that's pretty tempting to, to, you know, to do that. Um, so, uh, yeah, but again, again, and this is, you know, this, you know, Mishi is the only one that's come up with this uh, that I've seen. And again, he's called, he calls it F13. And the idea is, you know, fight with 13 checkers. Uh, you need 13 checkers to contain. Uh, and so even if you're doing some really weird stuff, to me, this is a really, this is a, well, this, this one isn't, yeah. I guess the other thing, Gary, is that I guess that's the purest play. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Um, um, you start you start making the three point or something, then you're a lot less pure. Yeah, you're you're yeah. Again, yeah. Generally, it's not good to make a point in front. Uh, leave it's not. You do it if you have to, but you don't really want to make a point leaving a gap if you can. Now, in this case, you know you're also you make a three point. You're also giving up the direct shot. So, um, it's not surprising to me that that's not the right play here. In fact, where is it? It's, it's yeah, it's a huge blunder to do that, to give up that you know, without really accomplishing much, that much with it. But. Crazy. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. So this is a, this is another one that's very interesting. Um, uh, you know, and, and this one, the other ones uh, where we have the back checker there already, uh, we don't have the back checker there, but we're going to get it there because obviously you're going to hit. Um, so the first step is take the hit, black on the, the bar. And the question is, well, what's your six going to be? So, um, let me, let me, let me. Hmm. I think you had to play twenty one fifteen. Yeah, well, if you follow the the F thirteen fight with thirteen checkers, uh, you know, I would be, I probably would be tempted to have done this and tried to uh, make the two point. Yeah, uh, you're, trying to, you're really trying to make the seven point here. Yeah. Well, yeah, you'd really, you'd really rather make the seven point here, right? But you can't with, um, you know, with the roll we have. So, uh, and, and the answer is, is to you know, break the back anchor. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to bring that extra checker in, uh, to make you know to make this point. Again, he, the argument is you need thirteen checkers to contain, you know, to contain your opponent. Um, and so the only way to do that here is to bring that one up. Uh, you know, very interesting play. I, I would not, I would have gotten this one wrong um, over the board. You know, I would have been reluctant, you know, I'd be reluctant to break. But, you know, when you say, I, you're, generally you're reluctant to break an anchor, but you already have another anchor. Uh, black, you know, black, you know, has a wasted checker here. Um, you know, he, he can attack you and will probably, given the chance, but, um, you know, you're not in that much danger uh, with with if you get hit out here, um, and so the you know the having the check makes makes up for it. Okay, uh, last example we have for Michi is this one. And so. And here's another one that I find really strange, but um, it sort of makes sense. Again, the idea uh, F13, we got, you know, we've got to contain two back checkers and uh, you need 13 checkers. So uh, we've got 12. So, you know, what does that mean? Where does the 13th checker come from? Well, there's only one spot it can come from, and that's this one. Mm. So, you know, the answer is bring them out. Hmm. You know, and this is a really, uh, you know, this is also a really strange play, you know, because a one hits, 
Uh, and then there are all sorts of you got you got five numbers, you know, five numbers that, that are direct shots here. So you've got, you know, 25 point numbers. Um, you know, and that's you know, that's pretty uh that that it's pretty tough for me. It's pretty tough to break this anchor with that many pointing numbers. Um, but you know, if he break, uses any of these three pointing numbers, he leaves going to leave a return shot on the coming in, and he's still got to bring these other checkers around. So, um, you know, that's that's what makes it a better play. I would have a hard time doing this one over the board too. I would probably do something like this, or or even that, or, or would have. Um, just because this is really, uh, this is really kind of scary. If you look at, you know, you look at all these pointing numbers on this checker, you've got three blots out there. Any one, a one hits, uh, four, five, four, six, five, 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 six, you know, a lot of hitting numbers. Um, but, and the idea is you need 13 checkers to, uh, to contain, so that's where he gets to the F thirteen. Okay, so that, that is part of it too, Gary. You said he doesn't. I mean, he's not going to hit you maybe because he doesn't. He he's going to try to preserve that five point prime at all costs. Yes. Know? Well, that's the yeah, that's the idea again. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> you know, again, if you're going to leave a blot, leave it in front of strip points. And so, okay, we're you know this is a bit excessive. There are three strip points here. Um, but you know that takes. But but if he does, you know, if he does point on you, you've got you've got counter shots coming in. And you know this one, in order for him to point on you, he can't hit this one. So you come in with a one, and you hit here. Uh, and you've got numbers. Let's say he breaks the the you know this the eight point his eight. You, know, you come in with the double fours, the two six. Um, so you got two six double fours that hit. That's three numbers. You've got double ones, four numbers, two one, and four one that hit. Um, you know, you've got it's like eight numbers, I guess, to come in and hit. And you, you know, you've got you actually have the better board here. There's a good chance he may dance. Um, uh, and and you know, and then you'll have a chance to attack <clears throat> or bring your back checker. Uh, and you know, and if you do hit, now you're hitting the race. So. Mm -hmm. Very interesting position. Uh, and yeah, and hard to do. And, and this sort of, you know, generally, you know, if you're behind in the race, you don't break your anchor. You sit back looking for the hit. So that, you know, this really goes in the face of, uh, you know, a lot of the basic ideas. But, uh, you know, any, yeah, that's, that's, anything else is a blunder. So, yeah. Uh, the other thing that's scary about this is they uh, black has thirteen checkers in the zone. Yeah, well, that yeah, that's another sign. With that many checkers in the zone, black is attacking. Black is going to blitz if he can, and you're you're you know you're leaving the anchor, and allowing. Uh, yeah, yeah, but I think Jimmy pointed out if he in order to attack from, from here, he's got to break one of these points, and like well, except for a three two. Um, but he's going to break one of those points, and that's, uh, you know, that that breaks his prime. So, okay, so that's the lesson for today. Let me stop it. <clears throat>